Meta just did something shocking, they've completely killed the native WhatsApp app on Windows 11. And guess what? The new version is just a web app wrapped in WebView, using over 1 gigabyte of RAM for no reason. Let's break down what's really going on and why this is a huge step backward. Until now, WhatsApp for Windows was a native UWP slash WinUI app, smooth, lightweight, and fast. But after the latest update, version 2.2584.3.0, WhatsApp has gone back to being a web wrapper, loading web.whatsapp.com inside a WebView 2 container. If you remember, WhatsApp started years ago as an Electron app, then improved to a native UWP version. But now, after all that progress, Meta has thrown it all away, returning to a Chromium-based web shell. Many believe the reason behind this downgrade is Meta's recent layoffs. Reports suggest the entire Windows development team for WhatsApp might have been disbanded. By using a web version, Meta saves money, but at the cost of performance and user experience. So, how bad is it? Pretty bad. The new WebView 2 WhatsApp uses around 300 megabytes of RAM just on the login screen, doing absolutely nothing. After logging in, it can shoot up to 2 gigabytes, and even idles at 1.2 gigabytes. Meanwhile, the old native app used only 18 megabytes at idle and rarely crossed 300 megabytes even in heavy use. Not only does it eat memory, it's sluggish. Scrolling through chats feels delayed, notifications don't sync properly, and it often fails to respect Windows Do Not Disturb mode. In short, it's a mess. If you haven't updated yet, don't. Stay on the older native version as long as possible. But unfortunately, reports say that Meta will soon log everyone out and force the WebView version, so this escape won't last forever. Ironically, while Windows users get a downgrade, Apple Watch just got its first native WhatsApp app, with only 115 million users. Meanwhile, Windows has over 1 billion active devices, but no native app anymore. Numbers clearly don't matter here. So yeah, Meta just turned WhatsApp for Windows into a glorified web page. If you care about speed and efficiency, you're better off just using WhatsApp web in your browser. At least it's faster and doesn't hog your system memory. What do you think about this downgrade? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates.